Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new this is Chaotic Lore here and I'm back with another video and pretty much this is my Thanksgiving makeup um is it a three in one uh, no it's not a three in one I'm just gonna show you guys how I did my makeup and I'm gonna quickly show you guys my outfit towards the end for Thanksgiving but before we even get started into this video I wanted to talk to you guys about this company Dossier okay dossier and they're a perfume company like they have fragrances and stuff and they reached out to me and they wanted me to try their product and give them a, a review so personally i know that because they reached out to me and i didn't buy my own money you guys won't really trust it but let me tell you guys trust me um when they reached out i went to their website and it was super super difficult for me to find a scent because they had so many like fragrances and i didn't know like how am i supposed to review a perfume anyway long story short i ended up picking it and it came in about three days and um this is what it says in the box i'm opening it i'm gonna read it to you guys it says the fair alternative to luxury perfume made in france it's vegan and cruelty free risk free or, um order and it's clean ingredients um so that's what it says on top right there and when you open it there is this card with the perfume um picture on it and the scent i went with was citrus green apple so it's gonna smell more like green apple and lime and sea draft i think i'm saying it right the inspiration for this perfume was well fragrance was dng so those in cabana light blue for women eau de parfum concentration 18 so what they did which i found really 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 cool was that in the box they give you the spray and then you have a little tester on the side and as you guys can see i am loving the scent and whenever i go anywhere people ask me mm -hmm, you smell really good and i already went through the tester and i'm already going through the spray okay so i've been wearing it and these are actually this is what the the this is what the something this is what the bottle looks like okay and again the color is um citrus green apple and it's so simple it's so aesthetic looking i love it pretty much what i do and i go in and i switch my neck my elbow the inner corner of my elbow and the back of my ears and i go about my day and this lasts me all day and it's like a magnet thingy but they last me all day i'm gonna leave all the links in the description box for you guys to check them out i am so amazed at them and i think this was only like what's it 20 or 24 dollars i'm not sure i'll put it on the screen for you guys but yes i know i rambled in the beginning but yeah anyway i will say 10 out of 10 for this and um i love it and i'm definitely going to be buying more of these with my own money in the future and uh yeah and i'll keep you guys up to date with the scent but the scent really is it smells like apple with a little hint of lime and it's just like as it dries the scent gets stronger it's so amazing but yeah let's move on to this video i'm done with this um we're doing my thanksgiving makeup this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed uh, well, I hope you guys enjoy it and um, let's get right into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, your girl big partner, y'all. And um, follow me on all my social media, they're gonna be on the screen somewhere. And uh, well, today I decided to do my makeup, so let's get started. So, yeah, I'm starting out with this master prime by maybelline it's a prime man a base it's really really good i actually really like this one i'm just going in on my face with it okay so what you guys think i'm in my bathroom today i really i really don't know and i'm using a different camera uh -huh. let me know how you guys like the quality of it happy thanksgiving what are you guys thankful for? Let me know in the comment. And what's your favorite dish during Thanksgiving? I really like um ham. I love ham. And for dessert, I love apple pie. 
I don't care for turkey that much. So yeah, so yes, my birds speed to kind of moisturize and prime my lips for whatever color I'm gonna do to it. I don't know yet. I don't have a look in mine yet. But yeah, I'm using this. Um, I'm using this NYX Professional Makeup Dip Shape and Go. Oh, that was hard. So you unscrew it, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. My eyebrows, I don't really have to do much to them. I just got kind of did them um, a couple days ago, so yeah. So I'm going to at the bottom, and I'm just kind of filling it in a little bit like this. See, it's a little bit darker than this one, and that's really all I'm doing. I'm not even gonna go with concealer under it because it's really not needed. Um, and this this powder thing is, I don't know if I would call it, it's not a powder, I think it's a pomade, it is. And it's so lightweight that you don't even have to really do anything. And even if you don't use concealer, you can um, always just wipe it with your hands. Like it's so easy to work with. I think this is very beginner friendly. This is it. And this also comes with this little, own little spoolie, I guess. So we're just gonna go and brush the product in like this. And kind of brush it into here. This, how does that look? Good, right? Looks good to me. Okay, looks good to me. So brows are done. Um, now we're going to do our eyeshadow. So we're gonna go with this palette right here, my fantasy palette. And um, we're gonna do some nice, simple makeup. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use this small brush and I'm gonna go with, uh, hmm, I'm gonna use this, this orangey looking color. And um, yeah, it's Thanksgiving, why not? Next, I'm going in with the color right here that's right next to it. And we're gonna apply that on our crease. Uh, let's see, yes, on our crease. So I'm using a bigger, fluffier brush, and I'm using that color I showed you, and I'm tapping it off, and I'm going in my crease. And I'm going around here, under where that first color was not on top of it, but like right under it, so that it could give it some type of definition. Then we're gonna take that little small one again, and we're going with that color right here, right next to that other. So yes, we're going in the line, but we're going to that same color, well not the same color, the color I just showed you. And we're taking it, and we're gonna focus it here. Okay, we're gonna focus that color right at the end. Okay, and we're gonna just do this and kind of bring it in. Okay, you can see the difference, it's getting a little bit darker. Okay. I'm taking this angled brush, um, whatever, and I'm going in with black because I don't want to put liquid eyeliner on my individual lashes because it's going to take longer to take off. So I'm wearing black eyeliner and I'm doing this right here with the black 
And I'm gonna just kind of do it like a, a liner so that it would be. And we're gonna push it in like, like this. This one right here, okay? This one right here, I'm going to do it. And then nothing's coming out, and we're just going to add that about here. Okay, so it's just giving it a little bit of shine, and we're gonna do it on the same side. Well, it still has a little product in it. We're just gonna take it and just kind of just swipe it down so that it's blending really well with, you know, the rest of the eyelid. Blend it in so that it doesn't look harsh at all because we want it to look so silly and simple. You know, that's it. We are done with their eyes and we don't have to do anything else because you know, the lashes are already on. We can move on, okay? So now, we're going to take this HD True Complexion um, collection thing in the color. What's this color? I don't even know. I don't think there's a color for this, but we're going to apply it here. Um, I know it looks a little bit darker, but don't worry, it will work just how we want it. And it's going to be what's used to cover all the little blemishes that we have and everything. Damn Beauty Blender, okay. And we're going to blend, blend, blend. And we're just dragging the excess, like, on top of our nose and wherever else there's not a lot of it we're just going to drag excess to it because we need to we have to do it and we don't want it cakey and we want it to look as natural as possible so we just like to just drag the excess and then yeah okay so as you guys can see it's covering it up a little bit it's um fading it a little bit I don't want it full coverage, I still want it a light, you know? So now, I'm gonna use this air sprung. I think I'm gonna try to make this as drugstore as possible. And we're gonna put this. And I'm just applying little by little, I'm just dabbing in a little bit so that it could set everything in, you know. Yes, I'm gonna look like a ghost, but it felt good. So I'm applying this all over my face really because I really wanna set this and we're gonna have like, um, what is that thing called, Max on and all that nonsense. So you know you really want to apply it everywhere you possibly can. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna just let my face set. And now we're just contouring our nose. And yeah. Okay. And Next thing, we're taking this and we're going to apply some blush because you can never go wrong with blush. We're just applying it here and it's this blush in the color Rose Claire. It's really light. It doesn't really show crazy and you're just applying it a little bit and then you go And I like to go and apply a little bit on my nose and 
between my eyebrows just so it could be a little bit rosy and not too um you know we're gonna go back with that same color we applied on our top lash and we're gonna apply it towards the inner outer corner so that it's kind of shining like this okay that's really good and now and now I'm gonna apply a little tiny bit of mascara in my bottom lashes don't worry about the top we're not gonna apply any to the top just a little at the bottom to make it kind of show more I kind of want to try bottom individual bottom lashes next probably will so we're gonna do this cover girl rich brown 300 it's literally almost done and you're gonna line the loose with it I know it's really really dark but it's gonna look good after we do this we're applying this Burt's Bee uh, lip gloss and it's gonna be applied on the middle part okay this is literally so cute you guys it's so cute it's so glossy it's so cute okay so that's really that now we're gonna set our face with I'm using this, but this is actually the Urban Decay, where is it? This is actually this, when I went, um, I traveled a couple months back uh, to New York, and I put some of it in here. So I'm gonna just spray this. Okay, until I'm drenched in it, because listen, this mask situation is not it. We don't want to make up to go anywhere, but the other thing I you normally use is this uh, Wet n Wild Finish Natural. I really like this one, so if you guys want to use that, you guys can. Um, this is the final look. I'm gonna go change my shirt so that you guys can have a full effect of it, and I'll be right back. So these are the shoes that I'm wearing. They're kind of like on the shorter side, but yeah. Um, 